afternoon baseball from the Motor City Comerica Park here in downtown Detroit. Today it's the finale of this four game set between the Boston Red Sox and the Detroit Tigers. It'll be fun watching these two go at it. It's next on the show. Jordan Zimmerman will be on the mound for game four. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches. Into the box steps, the leadoff man, Dustin Pedroia, and we are ready Leading for baseball. Off the afternoon for Boston. Second baseman, number 15. And our first pitch is taken for ball one as we are officially underway from Comerica Park. Harold, these Tigers, as they begin play here today, they come in hoping not to fall too deep into an early season hole as they're just one and five to start the new campaign. Well, Matt, you talk about an uphill battle and bad timing. You're playing poorly, and you turn around on the schedule, and look who you're facing. You're facing their best pitcher. You're facing the ace. It's going to take a full team effort, and you're going to need a little luck in this one to win it. There to take it is Presley, and there's one away. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Harold, what's the key to continuing the winning streak? Matt, this lineup has been on fire. Everybody's hitting from top to bottom. I don't know how you get them out right now. If you roll the ball up there, they'll probably golf it out of the ballpark. They've been that hot. Here's Brock Holt now. First. And this one's nowhere one close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Started to go around there, looked like he held up in time. No, strike two, says the third base umpire. One and two, here it comes. Breaking ball there is down. Good job of laying off. It's back to two and two. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Earl Hendricks. Yeah, Earl doesn't get a lot of complaints from players or coaches about his strike zone. He calls a good zone. And more importantly, he's consistent. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. He'll try it again three and two softly hit toward the hole Cabrera charging in on it and he'll take it onto the bag himself two gone now here in the first batting third right fielder. stepping up to the plate Mookie, Mookie Betts. Betts first chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on and the pitch right. and a high strike to begin the at bat it's 0 and 1. Man, I think he's trying to send a message right here. I'm going to challenge you. I love you. I don't care how good a hitter you are. And this guy's a good hitter, by the way. But he came right after him early in the count. That is a filthy combination. High 90s with the fastball and then that nasty curveball. It's almost unhittable, almost unfair to the hitter. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Misses ball. ball two. So he threw two the slider two. darting away to him two times in a row. Now I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. A solo shot here to left. Fourth home run here in the early going as the Red Sox get the game's first run. It's one to nothing.
That's what I love about baseball. The pitch before he looked absolutely foolish, but they gathered himself, stayed with the plan, and the next pitch he goes yard. Every pitch is another chance. Here's the left fielder Hanley Ramirez. Hanley Ramirez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 